Have you ever had a great idea, something you were excited about, something you knew could work, but for some reason, you never actually started? You kept thinking about it, planning it, maybe even watching tutorials like this one. But when it came to taking action, nothing happened. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. The truth is, most people never start. Not because they don't have the skills or resources, but because of doubt, overthinking, or waiting for the perfect moment. But here's the thing. The perfect moment doesn't exist. The only way to get better, to learn, to grow, is to start. So today, let's break that cycle. Let's take that first step together. And we're starting with something simple, creating stick figure animations in Canva. No fancy skills, no complicated tools, just a fun, easy way to create. But wait, I need you to know that this was just a sample video. Now, I'll let the main host take over and show you exactly how you can create these stick figure videos yourself, using nothing but Canva. Yes, you heard that right. Today, we're keeping it simple, no extra editing software needed. I believe some of you have come across these viral stick figure videos on YouTube, and now you're probably wondering how they're made. Well, you're in the right place because I'm about to show you how to create them yourself. So let's get started. First, you'll come over to Eleven Labs because you'll need a voiceover for your video. I'll leave the link to access Eleven Labs in the description. You can just go ahead and sign up. While in Eleven Labs, you'll click the Voices tab. This is where you'll get all the voices available. Scroll through to select Select one of the voices. You can click on them, listen to each voice, and find the one you like. Once you've found the voice you like, you'll click Use here on the left side. This will bring you to the section where you can add your script. Then, you'll click the Generate Speech button. After listening to your voiceover, if it's okay, you'll download it by clicking this download icon right here. The next step, you're going to come over to Audacity. Just click the link in the description to access it directly. Then, you'll download and install it on your computer. Now, for Audacity, we'll use it to remove the silence in between the voiceover over you just generated. This makes your work easier instead of manually cutting them in CapCut. Audacity will handle that for you. While in Audacity, click on File, then Import, and choose Audio. Then, add the voiceover or audio file you downloaded from Eleven Labs. Simply select it from your computer files and it will be added to Audacity. Then, you'll select All, and I mean your entire audio, and here's the shortcut. For Windows, press Ctrl plus A to select All. For Mac, press Command plus A to select All. After selecting All, click on Effect. Then, Come over here where it says Special and click Truncate Silence. Now, for the settings, the numbers you see on my screen will be different from yours if you're accessing Audacity for the first time. So, I need you to input these exact numbers and for the rest of the settings, leave them as default. Then, click Apply. However, before clicking Apply, you can preview the audio to confirm that everything sounds good according to the settings I've given you. Also, keep in mind that if it doesn't sound right, you can undo the step and redo it. After truncating the silence, you'll now normalize the audio. Still selecting all, go back to effect. Then go to volume and compression and select normalize. For this one, you'll leave the setting as default. Then click apply. The reason for normalizing is to ensure the volume stays consistent so that one part of the audio isn't too loud while another part is too low. It balances everything out, preventing some sections from sounding louder than others. To export the audio, click file, then export audio. Here you'll select export to computer. Make sure you choose mp3 files instead of wav which is the default format. Then choose the location where your audio will be saved on your computer. Also, rename your audio, then click export. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave a like. It helps support the channel and lets me know you're finding this content helpful. Next, you'll open Canva, since this is where you'll be creating your stick figure video. If you don't have a Canva account, you can click the link in the description and sign up. Once you're on Canva, search for YouTube video here. Then, click on create a blank YouTube video. You don't need any templates for now, so just start with a blank video. Then you'll upload your audio, go to the Uploads tab, click Upload File, and select the audio you just exported from Audacity. After the audio is completely uploaded, you're going to check the duration of your audio and note the exact timing. Then, come over to your page and drag the timeline to match your audio's length. For example, if my audio is 1 minute and 53 seconds, I'll drag the timeline until it reaches that exact point. If yours is 2 minutes, 3 minutes, or any other length, just adjust it accordingly. Once you're done, drag your your audio onto the page it will be added below your page. Then, listen to your audio as you split the page into specific sections. This step depends on what you want to add to your video. Pay attention to parts where you want a new section to begin, then split accordingly. To split the page, simply press S on your keyboard. Here's an example. I'll listen to my audio and split it at a certain point. Then, I'll continue listening to find the next part to split. This process helps divide the video into smaller sections, making it easier to edit when adding elements, images, or 
text. After you're done splitting, select the first page, then choose a background color for your video. You can also add a background from the Elements tab. I'll show you how to do that. To choose a background color, click on the page, then select the background color from here. You can choose any color, for example. I can select this one. Then, I'll make it a little lighter. It all depends on what you want to achieve for your video. You can also choose to add a background image instead. Just go to the Elements tab, search for a background, and select any background you want. For example, in my case, I'll add this background. You can go a step further by editing it, maybe applying a filter to make your video look more unique and different. For example, I'll select this filter, and this will now be the final background color for my video. It's best to first add a background or select a background color for your video before splitting the page. I didn't do it that way, which means I'll have to copy and paste the background onto all the pages. To add the viral stick figures, still on the Elements tab, search for Stick Figure. Then click See All Graphics to view all the stick figures available on Canva. The viral stick figure we need in this video is this one. To add it to your page, simply click it. To access the same stick figure style, click the ellipsis, then click on View More by this artist, which will open all the stick figures from that artist, ensuring you maintain the same drawing style and design. Now this is where you'll be searching for any type of stick figure you need, based on the scene or whatever fits your video's narration at a specific part or section. For example, in my case, I'll listen to the audio in the first page, then think of something that fits what is being said. First, I'll need a group of people. I'll search for that and select this one. I'll also need a thinking bubble, so I'll search for that as well. Since I'm not finding any thinking bubble that doesn't include a stick figure, I'll crop this one and add it on top of each stick figure's head. I'll now select everything and group them so that I can move them as one element. You don't have to overthink anything when doing this. Just go with something that comes to mind based on what is being said in your audio. You can also animate your stick figure. For example, let's say I want to animate my stick figure. I'm just going to position it where I want it to start from and click Animate. Then click Create an Animation. I'll then drag this stick figure to create my own animation. You can also hold Shift as you drag it to maintain a straight line. That is, if you want it to move in a straight line. Afterwards, I'll click on Movement Styles. Then select Steady so that it maintains a steady movement. I'll also adjust the speed from here and click Done. So let's take a quick view of the animation I've just created. We all have a vision of what our dream life looks like. To add text to your video, just press T on your keyboard and it will bring up a text box. Or you can click on the text tab and select add a text box. And then you can go ahead and type in the text that you want to add. Then you can change the font from here and the color from here. You can also add a transition between your pages. Select one of the pages where you want to add the transition, right click and select add transition. Then choose the transition that you need for that part. In my case, match and move is going to work for this part between these two pages. You'll keep repeating the same process for your video until you finally have a video that is good and engaging. Let me complete the rest of the pages, then we will get to watch the final video at the end. Okay, let's now watch the final video. We all have a vision of what our dream life looks like. Maybe it's financial freedom, traveling the world, running a successful online business, or simply having the time to do what you love without stress. But here's the harsh truth. Your dream life won't just happen. It's not going to magically fall into your lap while you wait, wish, or hope for it. Success isn't reserved for the lucky ones. It's built by those who take action. Think about it. Every successful person you admire started with nothing but an idea idea and a willingness to work for it. They didn't sit around waiting for the perfect time or hoping opportunities would knock on their door. They showed up every single day, put in the effort, and made things happen. And that's exactly what you need to do. The problem is, most people get stuck in the someday mindset. They say, someday I'll start that business. Someday I'll invest in myself. Someday I'll go after what I really want. But someday is just another word for never. If you keep waiting for the right moment, you'll wake up years from now in the same place, wondering where all that time went. The right moment isn't something you wait for, it's something you create. So, what's stopping you? Fear of failure? Imposter syndrome? Feeling like you don't know enough yet? Let me tell you something. No one ever feels 100% ready. The people who succeed aren't the ones who waited until they had it all figured. Out! They're the ones who started messy, learned along the way, and kept going even when things got tough. The difference between where you 
you are now and where you want to be isn't luck. It's action. Your dream life is waiting, but it won't come to you. You have to go get it. Start that business, launch that product, post that content, learn that skill. Do something today that moves you closer to the life you want. Because the longer you wait, the more time you lose. The choice is yours. Keep waiting for someday or start building your dream life today. Now it's your turn to create your own stick figure videos and see how it goes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.